Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an art supply haul video. This is actually my second one, so if you haven't seen the first one I've done, I'll leave a link down in the description below, and also I'll put a card at the top of this video right now, so you can check that out. But first, I'm going to start off with my washi tape. These are all bought from the dollar store for $1.25 each. So there's two Halloween ones, four glitter ones, and a pink patterned one. Next, from Dollarama as well, I got these Halloween stickers for my planner. And then from Michaels, I got these this 18 set of acrylic paint by Reeves. And also from Michaels, I got these paint brushes. There's a pack of four. Um, I can't remember the price of these. It was probably about three or four dollars. It's by the Craft Smart brand. And then also from the dollar store, I just got this plastic plate for like, I think it was less than a dollar, just to use as a palette. Because I like it a lot better than those palettes that have like the indents and stuff in it. Because I just like to mix all over the place rather than one select spot as you can see. And next from Michaels I got this easel stand. It was on sale for, I can't remember if it was $10 or $15. But it also came in a little traveling bag. It's actually really helpful. You can set up on the go. And also from Michaels, I got this. It's called Retarder by Golden. And it's to mix with acrylic paint to either make it more opaque or to make it dry slower, which is what I bought it for because once I switched to oil paints and switched back to acrylic paints, I found it really hard to work with where it dries so quickly. So I got that. Then from Walmart, I got this pack of canvas panels. There's three in a pack. I already used one. They're five by seven. I always like to keep a few of those around for doing like little test paintings. And also from Michaels, I got this big pack of wooden canvases. I've been really into using the wooden ones lately, especially with oil paintings. So this is a pack of three and it was $16 they were on sale for. And this one's much too big to fit on the screen. But I got this gigantic canvas from a different dollar store and it was only $8. So I'll just lay that one back there. The next thing is one of my favorite things that I got, it's an Ot light. so I don't know if you guys heard of these before, but a lot of artists use them in their videos. They have like a really good white light. They're um, regular $80 or $80 plus, I know this style is a bit of an older one, there's newer ones out now, but I actually found this one in a thrift store for just $23 so that was a steal I'm really glad I got that I use that in all my videos except for this one obviously but yeah the next thing I got is from Walmart it was on sale for 10 well it wasn't really on sale it was marked down so it's a little bit beat up but anyways it was $10 so it's scrapbook paper with different holiday themes Now this thing is the most, is my favorite thing out of everything I got. It is 
Copic markers, Copic child markers to be exact. I got the 36C set. So, I'll show you all the colors. There you go. I actually changed the order. These are all in my own order. I put all the color groups next to each other. So, yeah. I've actually done one video using these so far. It was a Halloween drawing. So, if you want to see that video, I'll link that below and link a card above as well. But these are just gorgeous. I love them. I got them online from Jerry's Artorama, so if you haven't heard of that site, you should go check it out. They were $129, so that's not including tax or shipping. But yeah, those are definitely my favorite things that I got in this video. Let's put them right there. And moving on to the last two things I got was this Canson Mixed Media Paper actually haven't used this yet but I have used it, this type before because back in high school our sketchbooks were the same thing except smaller so I got this to try out with my Prismacolor pencils so yeah because I've never tried Prismacolors on these because I didn't have my Prismacolors back when I was in high school and the last thing I got was this Strathmore mixed media paper which is what I use my Copics on. So I just got this giant pad of it and I just cut down the sheets. As you can see I have this divided up to smaller sizes because I only have the Copic Chow so I don't want to waste a lot of ink to do a full page drawing. So yeah that was everything I got this time guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of these items or if there's something I missed or forgot to say where I got it to, leave your comments down below. I answer or I try my best to answer every single one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye guys. One more thing before I end this video guys. My giveaway is now over and I'm about to pick the winner. So if you won, you will get an email from me. And yeah, so thank you to everyone who entered. I had a lot of entries and I was really happy with all the support. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.